Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something super exciting. I've really been looking forward to this ever since I got back to America. We are checking out the brand new Dolls Kill store in West Hollywood. It's been open for a couple of months but they've just recently revamped the entire store all for Halloween, which if you didn't know is a massive celebration here in America. So I'm going to take you through the store, we're going to have a little bit of a look around look at some clothes, talk about the designers, and then we're gonna come back afterwards and do a clothing haul all focused on Dolls Kill. So keep watching and I will see you in West Hollywood. for their events as well. Here is a piece from Current Mood, which I was 
talking about just before, this is one of Dolls Kills brands. So you can see it's another edgy label in collaboration with all of the others. Another brand that I've worked with frequently before, which is an Aussie brand, is Lip to the Label, which has made it into the Dolls Kills store. So I'm feeling very proud of quite a few labels that I know that are in here. So congratulations to Lips on that because it looks amazing. We are now seven days later from when I was last in the Dolls Kill store. So I'm going to be finishing up this video with an awesome little haul full of products from the online site of Dolls Kill along with the t-shirt that I'm wearing which is the vintage Harley Davidson tee that you would have seen me pull in the store. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, keep watching. So here is one of the boxes. I absolutely love getting Dolls Kill packages because even the packaging is super rad. You just know when you're getting a Dolls Kill delivery, so always exciting. I've got my trusty box opener here because if you wear artificial nails like myself, you'll know it's a struggle to open boxes safely. You always make such a mess with unboxing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna throw everything on the floor, I think. One of the first pieces we have here is this awesome corset. So you would wear like a really cool flowy t-shirt underneath. Um, I can try and put it on with this. I don't think it's really gonna work. So yeah, this is basically the kind of vibe that it's going for. It's very like medieval. You could basically wear that with anything. I actually can't wait to shoot in that. I also really like this one because it's elasticated in the back so it makes it really comfortable. This necklace I was really excited to get. It's like a safety pin kind of choker vibe. This would go with so many different things. I would wear this even just on like a casual day or a night out or a festival. I just think it's a really statement piece. Here is the poster girl piece that I got. It's reflective. So you can kind of get the illusion of the effect of that from the lights that are behind the camera. This bad boy. Again, obsessed with red and red vinyl especially. This is just, I don't know, this is just gold. And I've also got a pair of rock boots that are the exact same. I might show you actually. I know they did sell these at Dolls Kill and they might still do, but these are the red rock boots. To go with that, I mean, I'm dead like I'm already. I'm already passing out over it, so. So these are some really cute cargo pants. They're high-waisted, and they've got some detailing on the sides, 
with a whole bunch of pockets. I just think that these will go with anything. They're like a nice cargo material. If you've been following me for a while, you will know I'm very much an accessories girl. So these were right up my alley. So they were an absolute must and they're so well priced as well. Like really, really obsessed with them. And I like how it's just got the black. Oh, look at me doing the full YouTube thing. It's got, it's got the black um, on the center and the arms are see-through orange. This was my favorite piece and I was hoping this was gonna be in the store, but it wasn't. Luckily I was able to get it online, but I nailed it with the sizing on this because I have a bigger bum um, and slightly bigger thighs, upper thighs than your classic size small. So if there's no stretch in the size small, I might not get it over my bum. <laughs> so I made sure that I got a medium in the pants and I always get a medium or large in the top because I'm a double D to D cup depending on the brand. So this double denim set is everything to me, like this is everything. I'm definitely going to be wearing this to a festival very soon. Dying over this. Love the ring detail as well. So this is like a bikini top style. I would put it on, but I want you guys to see the full effect when I actually wear it properly. So it's just like a bikini tie up style. Again, it's not stretched. So I definitely got a medium in that. For the pants, I got a medium. And I'm glad I did because if I didn't, it definitely wouldn't have gotten over my bum, but dying. Like you're not gonna get the full effect at all. So basically these go over your hips. So this part is waist height and then this is hip star. So you've got a full cutout vibe going on here. And to top it off to make them even cooler, they are a bell bottom. As soon as I saw this online, I was like, wow. Very, very, very happy with that. Woo! Here it is. Should I put this on my knees? I don't know if that's gonna... We'll see. Oh, okay, cool. It's like all coming back to me, the pieces that I got, because obviously this is a little bit later in the week than I had initially wanted to film this. You might have noticed that a lot of Instagrammers are wearing the Diamante belt. This looks good with everything, like even a vintage t-shirt just to dress it up a bit. The best part about Dolls Kill is they're always really on top of the trends. Next piece, accessory wise again, is this bad boy. Another thing I'm obsessed with is bags. And this is the perfect backpack. I have a backpack very similar to this, but the hardware is gold. And I really don't like wearing gold and silver together, unless it's like a really light gold and silver. But as soon as it starts getting into that yellow gold with silver hardware vibe, like I like everything to be very matching or contrast well. So I really, really, really needed a mini backpack that had silver hardware. So what I'm probably gonna do with this as well is add a really cute chain just to grunge it up a little bit more. But I feel like you could fit a lot into this. So this is one of the straps as well. Fairly basic, but again, very, very handy. Any festival I go to, I have a small bag and this is perfect. It doesn't have some horrible smell to it as well. I guess like the fake leather ones have some really horrific smells to it, but this doesn't. Perfect mini backpack. If you're looking for one, go to Dolls Kill for that because this is also made really well. Like the zip is nice and smooth. The stitching is really good quality. There's no bits that are fraying. So yeah, perfect bag. This next piece looks very confusing. It is a cutout one piece. So it has a one shoulder, actually. Wait, I think this is inside out. Yes, it's inside out. Luckily I picked up on that. So it's got the one shoulder here. I got a size small um, and it's got the pieces that go over the leg as well. So it's kind of like a chap style, but reversed. So it's got the legs here. These are like little harnesses that go over your thighs and you would wear some swimwear underneath and it would give you that chap style effect. This is a really cool festival outfit. 
um, really well priced as well. And it is by Club X, which is one of Dolls Kill's in-house brands. Oh, cool. I didn't even know this, but it offers the underwear to go underneath. So you don't even need like swimwear or anything. It's got some here. If you wanted to go a little bit more high-waisted, you could add your own ones because I feel like that is quite hipster. Me personally having like more of an hourglass shape to my body, I do like everything to be high-waisted. So I'm not too sure if I would use those. However, you never know until they're on as to how much you can hoist those up. These boots, I have been eyeing them off for a while. They've been out for a while. They have them in black as well. I decided to get them in more of a statement color. It's like a denim blue, which is very on point with the denim outfit that I have. They might not be everyone's taste, but oh baby, these are, I mean, do I even need to explain what I could do with these? Like seriously, they come up to the thigh, they're a relaxed fit, they've got a really nice pointed toe, it's not too long, the heel isn't too short, it's also not too high. They're literally the perfect Western style statement thigh high boot. So I am well and truly obsessed with these. And yeah, I just can't wait to put them with every other Western boot that I own because there's a lot of them. So that is it for the video and for the haul. I hope you all really enjoyed it. I wanted to say a massive thank you to Dolls Kill. If you're interested, I'm also hosting a little giveaway on my Instagram, which involves Dolls Kill. So go and check it out. The link to my Instagram is down below. If you loved it, please give it a huge thumbs up because it supports everything that I'm doing and I will see you in the next video. Love you.